so today I will be showing you how to make a delicious, easy to follow oatmeal. I eat my oatmeal every morning and that's my secret, or one of my secrets, to having a fantastic physique. It just has a lot of benefits, um, but today I will just share one of my favorite recipes, okay? So we're going to be using Instant Pot, the infamous Instant Pot. If you don't really know about Instant Pot, <laughs> just do some Google search on it. You'll find a lot of good information. And the other, the rest of the ingredients we're going to use, um, we have our banana. You gotta get that good potassium, right? Get a bowl, get a microwavable bowl. I'm going to show you why you need that in a minute. Some water, we're going to need that. I'm not using milk. That would be for another video. You know, there's a lot of ways to make it, but this one I'm just gonna focus use on using water, okay? Then the infamous peanut butter. We're gonna need that. I know how you guys love your peanut butter. I love peanut butter too. And um, there are a lot of different kinds out there. So just pick whichever one that you like. I usually buy stuff in bulk, so it lasts me for a little bit longer. I know, so it's kind of saving money a little bit. So I'm going to be using this, uh, the All Natural, this is Sam's uh, Club brand. So again, use whatever brand that works for you. And next time we're going to be using honey. So use whatever brand you want, but make sure your honey you're using is, is a good quality honey. We don't want no 99 cent store honey, okay? <laughs> um, then the infamous coconut oil. I'm going to be adding coconut oil to my oatmeal. The reason why I add coconut oil, besides all the benefits that come from using coconut, you're going to see why in a minute. But for this oatmeal, it helps softens the oatmeal. So that way it's nice, soft, and tender. Okay? And do not forget the oatmeal itself. I know, don't worry, this is not protein. This is oatmeal. If you don't believe me, take a look. Okay? So the reason why you see this oatmeal the way it looks, this is old fashioned oatmeal. I'm not doing, you know, any other kinds of oatmeal. So we're gonna stick to old fashioned. That's what I use all the time. You can use it for baking, you can use it for a lot of stuff. But I buy them in bulk. You know, I buy about five pounds from Sam's Club. That comes out to be $8.50. It has a long shelf life. So I'll buy it, then I just put it in a container and I'll continue using it. As opposed to buying the, the tub, you know, the small tubs you can buy from uh, Walmart. You now those are maybe $3, but if you do the math, you end up saving a long run by buying them in bulk. So we're gonna start off with the bowl and, um, and the water. So the water to oatmeal ratio will depend on how thick you want the oatmeal to, to be. So for me, I'm going to use two and a half cups of water for a cup of oatmeal. Okay, we're going to microwave the water inside the bowl for one minute. If you like, you can use the instant pot to heat up the water, or you can use warm tap water. But I just like to microwave it. It's kind of, I think it's it's faster since we're trying to kind of. You know, save time, so I just microwave it. And the reason why I'm using warm water is to allow the coconut oil to melt in the process. So that way it's not all chunky. You will see why in a minute. And also don't forget some utensils, okay? And some cookware. I'm gonna be using, you know, my, tables, my uh, tablespoon and this wooden, I don't know, wooden spoon to stir the oatmeal. This should be fun. Just be careful. Do not burn your stove. Now the next thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna transfer this water. So now the only thing you're gonna add will be the coconut oil and the oatmeal. Then the, the banana, the honey, and the peanut butter, we're gonna add them later on when the oatmeal is done cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna use one teaspoon. And 
then a cup of oatmeal. Now stir it very well. Cover your instant pot. Next thing you're gonna do here is you're going to select pressure cook. You see, your instant pot will have pressure cook. You press that, and then you want to set that to four minutes. Yep. So we got four minutes. There you go. Now it's on. So let's let the oatmeal cook. So while the oatmeal is cooking, let's talk a little bit about the benefit of some of the stuff that I'm using today. You know, peanut butter, we all use it. You know, peanut butter has good fats. Also, it's a good source of omega-3, um, good fiber, vitamin E. Also, it's a good source of antioxidants. Not to mention, it's a good source of protein. There are different kinds of protein out there, but peanut is one of them. So it's probably one of the cheapest protein you can find. Now the other stuff that I, I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video, if you're paying attention, is the coconut oil. So why do you use coconut oil? You know, it helps boost your good cholesterol level. And don't take my word for it. So you can, after this video, after watching this video, you can Go do some research on benefit of coconut oil and also it help with digestion it help aid digestion and, and also is a is is a good skin care product that's pretty much what i use to get my better skin and i use coconut oil every day i've been doing so for a long time that will be a subject for an, another video most of us probably already know the benefit of eating banana a good amount of potassium so a medium-sized banana you're probably looking at about 320 to 400 milligrams of potassium. That is uh, what the internet says. <laughs> so don't take my words for it. Um, and that is about 10% of your daily potassium uh, needs. Now the, the infamous one is honey. Depending on where you stand. Some people say honey is good. Some people say honey is not good. Well, honey has been around for years. You know, back in the ancient time, they use the they use honey both as food and as medicine but for the purpose of this video i don't want to be too scientific here <laughs> we're just going to stick to why i use honey pretty much is to add flavor to my oatmeal to make it a little bit sweeter but if you're diabetic or you're kind of sensitive to sugar you just gotta be a little bit careful with how much honey you're using looks like our oatmeal is done so now uh, let's check it out you just gotta be a little bit careful now. So make sure the steam, it's no more steam. So we should be good to go. Hit a little line. Oh man, it smells so good. Look at that, look at that goodness. Peanut butter, one teaspoon. That's what I'm gonna use. Add the honey, one teaspoon. About. Then your banana, okay? So let's add everything. And that's pretty much it, guys. We are done. Then stir them. Stir everything together. Don't stir it too much. You don't want the banana to be mushy. Ugh. That's it. Look at that deliciousness. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. So if you like this video, please leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. This is a new channel, and I look forward to building it up with you. All right? You all have a wonderful day. Peace.